Good morning, ladies. Before I start this video, I want to give all of you a heads up, but my pregnancy test videos that I plan to take this cycle are going to be a little delayed. I usually try and post the same day, if not the next day, but this time the cycle is kind of ending up right on my birthday weekend and I, well, I'm still gonna take pregnancy tests and I will uh, record them for you, but I just, I wanna make sure I'm spending that time with my family and enjoying my birthday. So I don't plan on doing any editing until probably Monday. So I think, you're gonna watch, you'll see in this video, but I think I'll start testing other Saturday probably, maybe Friday depending on how I feel, but I think Saturday and then the videos should upload Monday is my plan. So I just apologize, they're probably going to be a few days delayed, but it is my birthday weekend, this upcoming weekend, so I will be celebrating it with my family. Anyways, let's get into this video. So in today's video, I want to talk about whether or not I think I ovulated and I'm also going to be sharing with you guys Mira's update that they have launched. I think this is the first cycle that I've noticed it being different and I really, really like Mira's new update. I think it makes it very easy to understand your results. So let's talk about whether or not I ovulated. I'm going to try to scoop to this side and I will show you guys a bunch of pictures up here of what it looks like in the app for me and forgive me I will be looking down so I can look at my chart and tell you what I see and let you know my concerns I guess as you can see on the chart I have a LH spike and then I have like a second little like increase there and my E3G looks better than my LH, but my real concern here is the fact that my PDG or what they kind of look at is your progesterone, it spiked and it went up. Assuming that I ovulated is kind of what I guess, but then it came back down and I wonder if it is because my LH is so high still which is a little sad, but it looks like I did ovulate on Saturday, July the 13th, based on the chart as a whole. Now let's look a little bit more into my LH results. Mira has changed how they share their information so you can compare your results to other users and what they consider like average or normal. So you can see my LH here didn't quite do what other people naturally do, which I know that I have hormone issues and I know that my hormones don't do necessarily what they're supposed to do each cycle. So as you can see, my LH peaked very fast and then it came back down like how it should but then it peaked back up and it is still high for what is considered normal. And I will continue to test so we'll see if it goes back up or if it comes back down. And then let's look at the E3G. Now, as you can see here, my E3G actually like went up and came back down when it should have still been high. But then the next day it was really high and then it came back down more in the normal range. It's just not making that pretty slope like what you would want to see. And then here is my PDG, which is similar to progesterone. This is basically what you're looking at whenever you're trying to confirm that you ovulated or even just trying to make sure that you have a good enough progesterone level to sustain a pregnancy. And this is what's really concerning to me because my PDG spiked up the mirror app is saying hey we confirmed that you ovulated which is good but the issue that i am worried about is the fact that my pdg dropped back down so other maybe i didn't ovulate 
but I'm presuming that I did ovulate. My concern is that if my PDG or my progesterone is low, that even if I conceived this cycle, I might not be able to hold on to that pregnancy or there might be an issue with implantation. And that is like my biggest concern right now. I'm going to keep testing and hoping that my PDG continues to rise. I don't know if I should look into supplementing with something to see if I can get my progesterone up higher. I'm just a little unsure right now what my next step should be, but I will give you guys an update on my progesterone levels and my PDG levels whenever I start taking my pregnancy tests. Now I want to go back a little bit and talk about what happened throughout those few days leading up to and then ovulation and that kind of stuff and talk about what the app shows you since I've had so many people comment with me and say, hey, what does the app actually say? Is it saying you ovulated? Is it saying that you have like, you know, um, like the confirming ovulation and stuff like that. So I just want to go back and kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on what you might want to look for in your app to see if you are ovulating or not. So I'll go back to July 12th and you can see my cycle analysis here. It tells you how long your window is, when it thinks that you will ovulate. So it's giving me um, ovulation in one day and I took these pictures before I went all the way through so you can kind of see how accurate it is and then the next part down is all of your hormones and it says my LH is high my E3G is within the normal range and then my PDG is low because I tend to have a very low progesterone level and I've noticed that since I've been taking the mirror test as a whole but up here you can see where it says a peak was detected. So it is looking for that peak of LH and when it detects it, it will give you like a little notification. Now on to July 13th, it is saying that this is ovulation day. And let's look at my test results. My LH was high, my E3G was high, and then my PDG is still low. And it shows you that my peak was one day ago and that my PDG has not risen yet. Okay, now let's jump to July 16th. On this day, you can see that I am three days past ovulation, so three DPO. And it says, you know, my literal phase was confirmed. And then as you can see here, my test results show that my LH is still high, my e 3 is normal, and then my PDG is normal. And then you can see it said peak detected for LH four days ago, and now it is confirming that my PDG has rised. So you can see here that it is using that information to try and confirm ovulation. On the very front page of the app, it will show you something that looks like this. It's a little circle. It shows when your period was. It shows when your fertile window is. It's giving you a little mark of an LH peak. It is also giving you a green circle to show when ovulation day is. And then as you can see on July 16th, it gave me a PDG rise, confirming that I did ovulate. Now today is for DPO and I just wanted to show you guys my numbers again so you can see here my LH is still high, my e 3 is normal, and my PDG is still in the normal range but it is slightly lower than what it was yesterday. Unfortunately I would love my LH to stay low where it's supposed to at this point and I would love to see my PDG like skyrocket <laughs> And I know that it's still early. We haven't got to the implantation part, so I shouldn't be too concerned that this means that I'm not pregnant yet because implantation has not happened at 4DPO. I have a few more days and hopefully my PDG will rise, but when I do my pregnancy tests, I will also give you guys an update on what my progesterone levels are looking like. I know a few of you have shared recommendations on help with progesterone, like creams and things. So if you can leave more of those in the comments, maybe I will look at trying that next cycle because I don't know if I'm too late to try it this cycle, but 
If you think it's something I could purchase and start taking sooner, then please leave it in the comments and I'll see if there's something I can do to help my chances of actually getting a baby to stick because I don't want to just get pregnant. I want to stay pregnant. I appreciate that you guys are here on this journey with me and I'll see you guys when I start taking pregnancy tests. I just did a huge pregnancy test haul from Amazon that I plan to take this cycle. Maybe I will get pregnant for my birthday and that would be the best thing ever. But until then, I'll see you guys later.